What's going on everyone? My name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy making videos about web development and productivity. Just as a quick reference, this is twitter.com. This is Elon Musk's actual profile and this is Elon Musk's profile on my Twitter clone. You should notice that the color scheme for all of the text and the images is nearly identical to twitter.com's color scheme. And that's what I wanna talk about today how to customize the color theme within your Tailwind config so that you can ensure a consistent UI across your entire app. Whether you're building a billion dollar business or just making another app clone, you're gonna to wanna to know how to do this. And before we get started, I'm gonna ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. So how was I able to accomplish this exact color scheme inside of my Twitter clone? The first thing, you know, you obviously have to do is find these colors. And I just looked at, I just Googled this and I found this website called US Brand Colors. And these guys gave me the hex codes for all of Twitter's colors. Now the next thing to do is to import these colors into our Tailwind app. So right now what I'm doing is I'm adding these colors and the important things to note here are these ones right over here. So we got blue, right? This is Twitter's blue. So let me just copy this and show you guys that this is Twitter's blue. If I command F it, there you go. This is the blue that Twitter uses, at least according to usbrandcolors.com. Now, if they are wrong, then I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not gonna go into twitter.com and find all the hex codes by searching the CSS here, but you know, I'm just taking their word for it. This is their, this is Twitter's blue. So these are all the colors that I started importing into my project. This is light blue, so LB, which I believe is light blue black this is the twitter black so this isn't pure black but you know it's pretty close to black total black i just added this in because i felt like there were certain parts of the app where i would need to use like a total black color and specifically i use that inside of the uh dark mode so you'll notice here that the dark mode in twitter is basically fully black and also we got full white you got DG, which stands for dark gray, light gray, I, I just decided to write that out, extra light gray, and then extra, extra light gray. Now you could type these out yourself, so you could do like extra, extra light gray like this, but I didn't want to type all those out, so I added these colors in. The one important thing to note is that I did not extend these colors. So there's two ways to add colors to your Tailwind app. You can either remove that and add it to this uh, extend section. So right over here, right? You can extend your theme or you can leave it like this. And the difference is very important, right? The difference here is that if you extend it, you can use the generic Tailwind colors alongside of the colors that you extend. Right, you can use, um, Tailwind has a ton of different colors, right? So Tailwind has like, for example, if I just start typing inside the code, let's go to maybe like background, I don't know, blue, right? Tailwind has a ton of different blues that you can use. But what I did here is that I did not extend it, or I did not extend these colors, I just set them like this. And what this means is that I will not be able to use any of Tailwind's generic colors. I can only use these colors. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to think about the other colors, right? If it's not part of the Twitter theme, then I just told myself, for this Twitter clone, I am not gonna use it. Now there are places where you might want to extend these colors, but for the purpose of this app, I've just felt like it was way better to not do that. This is the part of the app where I set the entire background color of the screen. So if I go to light mode, you'll notice that it is in extra, extra light gray. In dark mode, obviously, it's gonna be total black. But let me just confirm that this is the place where we set the color, so I'm gonna do blue. And this should change the background color of the app 
to Twitter's blue color. Obviously, we don't want to do that in production or if we're actually showcasing the app, but just for the purpose of showcasing that this is the place that you can change the color uh, of the background of my clone. I want to do that. And let me show you guys that the other colors will not work, right? If I start typing like blue, um, 400, 500, any of these, right? These should not work because these colors are not extended. They're not extending the generic uh, color themes that we have in Tailwind. So if I save that, it should not work, right? It's just gonna be like plain white or something like that. I don't know, Wh whatever the generic color is. So if you wanna create Reddit, if you wanna create YouTube, if you wanna create Twitter, just go to, you know, uh, wherever you can get the hex codes and once you find the hex codes of a specific app just import them into your theme section and don't extend it just add it separately inside as colors and you will be restricted to only using these colors inside of your app and that is the best way to keep a consistent ui across your entire project with the exact colors that you want so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I personally really like this feature because it lets me limit the amount of colors that I use inside of my app. I just don't wanna think about colors that are not part of a specific theme that I'm gonna be coding up. And I really regret not using this when I was building my own personal blog. But you know, that's just me. And maybe some of you guys feel differently about uh, the way that I use the colors theme. Maybe some of you guys want to extend it instead of you know just limiting yourself with the colors. You know, whatever the case is, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button because it's the best way to support me and my everlasting desire to not work for a fan company. And consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.